All right, so you finally caved from watching so many room tours with Nano Leafs in that you've decided to buy some. But which ones do you buy? Well, I happen to own three Nano Leaf products, which by the way, I did purchase with my own money. But yeah, I'm going to tell you what I think, highlight some of the key differences between the kits and hopefully help you decide. By the way, if you do want to pick any of them up, I'll have them all linked down below in the description for you guys. Let's get into it. So to start with, they all function more or less the same. Every kit that Nanoleaf produces can have the same scenes applied to it, and it's important to know that each individual panel can only be one colour at a time, no matter which kit you get. You will not have access to gradient effects like you might have seen on Color Light's mini hexagons. So yeah, on that level they all are just LED panels, but depending on which kit you get, it might come with one or two different features. For example, here are the original Nanoleaf triangles, and originally they didn't have the ability to react to music. You had to purchase the additional rhythm module to plug into the panels to add that feature. Now later on, Nanoleaf actually bundled that module with the kit and kind of stopped selling them separately, they just renamed it Nanoleaf Rhythm. But in their next iteration, the Nanoleaf canvas panels, they added the music reactive feature as standard, so no need for any additional modules. They also added touch functionality in two ways actually. So you'll notice here, if I touch anywhere on the panels, it'll react to it, which is a pretty cool novelty feature. I can't say it's something I take advantage of very often, but it's there. And they also added the ability to program gesture controls. So here, for example, I can double tap on a panel to turn the lighting on or off, along with things like swiping up to increase brightness. You get the idea. Not only that, but they also went away from the physical buttons that they had on the original triangles module and instead swapped them out for capacitive ones built into one of the panels. And there's actually more of them, so you do have a little bit more control over the panels without having to use the app. So that's the original Nanoleaf triangles and the Nanoleaf canvas panels. And by the way, we will compare them more visually later. I just wanted to give a quick overview of the history of Nanoleaf releases and a few of the basic feature differences. Now fast forward to today and Nanoleaf have released their new shapes range. Now unlike previous Nanoleaf kits, which could not be mixed and matched, all of the new kits in this range can be used interchangeably. They all use the same microcontroller module with capacitive buttons. They all use the same panel connectors and panels from different kits can be connected to each other to allow for a much bigger range of designs. Now so far in this range, Nanoleaf have released the hexagons, which are the ones that I've got, the new and updated triangles, along with new mini triangles. And like I said, these can all be connected to one another. Now I do like the fact that Nanoleaf have standardized their connectors and panels, it does make a lot of sense. I feel like up until now, Nanoleaf have felt very much like a startup company with kind of prototypey products that they're trying to improve. So yeah, it seems like this is a step in the right direction. As regards mounting, the new shapes panels win hands down. Whereas with the original triangles and canvas panels, you basically just had to stick the included tape on the back of each panel to attach them to your wall. The new kits all come with this really cool mounting system, which not only makes the installation process much easier, but also the removal process. The panels no longer have tape on them directly, instead they snap onto a mounting plate which allows you to rotate them and remove them much more easily than having to struggle getting a knife behind them and prizing them off the wall. Trust me, I've done it, it's difficult. However, I'm going to come out and say it, I don't like the new hexagons. They don't look like hexagons, they look like circles because the edges are rounded off. And also, I think they could have done a better job with making them more evenly lit. They seem to be a bit hot spotty in places. Let's talk about the app. So all Nanoleaf kits use the same app. And like I said earlier, very similar functionality. Besides the new touch feature of the newer panels, they function in pretty much the same way. You can set each panel to a color of your choice and then you can apply movement and animations to those colors to create cool patterns. I would say my most used part of the app is the Discover tab. This basically has a bunch of user created presets and you can usually find what you're looking for by either searching within this menu or just by scrolling through and trying different presets for inspiration. You can select which kits you want to preview the effect on and then if you like it, you can save it either to the app or to the panels themselves. Now, as you'll see, if I apply the same preset to all three panels, they all look very similar. I'll compare the music reactive modes for you now. Here are the original Nanoleaf triangles. Here are the Nanoleaf canvas. And here are the new shapes hexagons. As 
far as brightness goes, and by the way, this is not a scientific experiment by any means, but to me at least, the original triangles look like they kick out the most light. And they also appear to be the most evenly lit. I feel like the shapes and the canvas panels just look to be a bit more hot spotty. So in conclusion, which kit should you buy? Personally, from a pure design aesthetics point of view, I like the original triangles. Although if you do like the triangle design, I'd probably recommend going with the updated shapes version. If you want the most unique panels, get the canvas kit. It's definitely the most interesting to look at with the cool pinwheel design in the middle. Don't get the hexagons unless you like square calls. It's not just me, is it? They do look like circles. Let me know in the comments. However, with that being said, if you are looking to pick up multiple kits in the future, I would recommend going with one of the new shapes kits, whether it be the hexagons, the new triangles, or the new mini triangles, because they all use standardized connectors, and so you'll be able to mix and match any future panels that you decide to get from that range. Assuming Nanoleaf continues the shapes range, which it does make sense for them to do since they have a basic blueprint down now, which will allow them to just focus on new panel designs, and like I said, the mounting system on the new shapes kits is by far the best yet. Hopefully this video is helpful to some of you. I know it wasn't exactly a review or an in-depth guide on every feature, but I just thought having owned three Nanoleaf kits that I'd be able to give some thoughts and opinions on some of the differences and features of each kit to help you make a better informed decision. And you better make the right decision because they're pretty damn expensive. Like I said, if you guys do want to check any of the kits out, I'll have them all linked down below in the description for you. If you enjoyed this video, a like rating would be much appreciated. It helps me out. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you're new. We just hit 80,000 subscribers, which is crazy. You can catch me on social media at Tech Tesseract. But with that being said, hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll catch you all in the next one.